it's Sonia. How are ya? Sonia with Jeff Monkey Paint Company. If you're new around here, well, if you've been with me over the last week or so, we have been doing a milk paint challenge. Hello, who's with me? Who has seen all eight, all eight, yes, projects that we've done? I said that if you guys watch from beginning to end, you guys will be milk paint pros as well. But we have two colors left. We just launched 10 new milk paint colors and we have two yet to paint with and there was no way that I was letting you guys down. Okay, you know me, I like a good challenge, right? So we had to pick out where we left off. Hey Danny, hey Shirley. So I have two colors left to show you. Does anybody know what they are out of all the colors? Hey Sandy, hey Rita, Teresa's on here. How are you tonight? How was your day? Let's see, we're like halfway into the weekend. I haven't been talking to you guys the last couple days. Things got really busy this week, especially with the four day work week. Our priority is getting your happy mail out to you guys. And so I haven't been on the last couple days because we've worked literally day and night. So if you ever see when you get tracking numbers that, oh, that might come through to you at like midnight, 1 a.m., 2 a.m., <laughs> it means that the monkeys right there and then are working on your junk monkey paint coming out to you guys. So the last uh, four days, we just you know got caught up for Memorial Day weekend. The beautiful thing about a weekend is you take some time off, but when everybody comes back to work on Tuesday, you have to get caught up on Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So it's a lot really crunched into one week. So that was the priority, but I did not forget that we have two colors left to do thank yes, you Karen. well i love you too what's that yes you did yes i did what forgot about them yeah. <laughs> matt stop get me in trouble matt's out there making i think he's doing corn out there you got your fireplace painted ducky linda oh that's awesome ducky is such a fun color you guys are loving on it you guys pick good colors you said we needed to have a duck egg and listen be prepared because we have more new stuff coming out. We've been listening to you guys. Linda says, hey, Matt, Matt, Matt. Penny, how are ya? Matt's making supper for us. And last time I checked, you were gonna do some corn, right? I'm going some corn and some rice. I don't know what else I'm making. Well, you don't know what you're, he's out, Matt, Matt enjoys cooking, right? So for me, oh, cooking, cooking is stressful. And I love to paint, not to cook. And he gets in the kitchen and he just like, I don't know. When Matt seasons stuff, it tastes like it come from a restaurant. When I cook, I it doesn't why. taste the same. Hey, Daphne, what do you mean? I'm Are why. you referring to me, my cooking? No, I'm just saying. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm married Matt. He could cook. I didn't have to worry about it. What? I'm referring to me. Uh, you're being kind to me. I, I made a pizza the other day, like recently, and I kid you not, all I had to do was, it was a pre-made pizza. You put it in the oven, and I overcooked it. And I have a picture. It came out. It was... A black circle okay it was a black circle and which i texted matt and said pizza's ready uh i'm just gonna stick to what i i know how to do <laughs> so i found these cute little mini crates because a girl can't have too much storage can she come on now there's always something that i'm going to have to fill this with right i will find something you had leftover burger that sounds good penny you're making me feel good she says she's done that too <laughs> thank you <laughs> Oh my gosh, good grief. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I think I'm just too impatient. I mean, I get impatient just waiting for the oven to preheat. I'm, come on, can't you go any faster? Hey, Brenda. So I got these at Walmart today. We were out getting uh, some groceries, some more food for me to burn. No, for Matt to actually cook and make tasty. And I saw these and I'm like, I gotta take these home. These are perfect. They were like $5 and change. Rashonda says her son is good at seasoning. Yeah, there is a thing. Listen, I make eggs, okay? I can make scrambled eggs and somehow still put too much salt into them. I don't know how much salt is between the line of non-existent and too much salt. Like I cannot figure that part out. How many twists do you do of the thing, right? Oh, uh, you got, did you see you got your brush today? I think I just saw you say, um, yeah, the paint poly brushes. I think that's what you just said. Was it Brenda before your comment disappeared on me really quickly? Um, the paint poly brushes are in stock right now. If you guys have been waiting, Daphne says she cleaned, baked, made some wooden signs. Oh, you're eating out wings tonight. Oh, that sounds good. I love some wings. Invite me over girl. Oh, that sounds wonderful. So I thought we'd go ahead and do this. You don't salt your eggs. You know what I do really like Linda in my eggs and anybody else. If, if you have a good recipe, let us know. I like to put basil in my eggs. Anybody else? <laughs> 
anybody else put basil? And the other thing is, I hate it when there's stickers on here. I just hope that they all come off easy. There's nothing worse when you have a sticker that doesn't want to come off, is it? When you get like to scrape it off. So if you, um, yeah, if you take your eggs, and I like to put in a little bit of milk or heavy whipping cream and my basil, and they make fluffy eggs. They're so good. Oh, you're waiting for the wax brush, not the poly brush. Oh, you got your wax brush. I know what you mean now. Yay, good deal. Brenda, you're doing awesome things with the milk paint. It is so much fun. When you get into it, to the milk paint, you get really addicted. Oh, and lots of butter. That sounds good. Butter makes everything better. Say it with me. Butter makes everything better. Butter makes everything better. All right, so let's put, I got two colors left of the milk paint that I need to do. Then I got two crates. Hello, marriage made in heaven. And this is raw wood, so we miss, no Miss Petunia is going to stick, right? Salsa is good. Matt does that. And I have to say, I really, really like that. All right, so the first color we'll use is I poured out one-fourth a cup. Well, not even quite one-fourth a cup right here, like this much right here, if you can kind of see right here. Almost a little bit, but not quite. Shaylin. Oh, that sounds good. What? Lavender pepper. I've never even heard of that before. So this color right here is called Spearmint. Spearmint. And then whatever you put in here, you just have to do equal parts. At least start with equal parts of your room temperature water because you can adjust it from there. But if you get the first two parts messed up with not the equal, then you could throw yourself entirely off, right? So do equal as much as possible and then adjust from there. Oh, nice. I have been doing keto all month long and I just took, I gave myself this weekend off to, this is my treat. And um, so, and then on Monday, I'll put myself back on. <laughs> Just, I can't be friends with carbs, okay? I'm trying to, like I said, I'm trying to uh, reverse the effects of quarantine, all right? I love butter in my coffee, Brenda. Me too. It's so good. So good. I actually do the, uh, oh my gosh, what's it called? The Irish butter. All right, somebody knows. Irish butter. What's it called? Matt, what is that butter? Carry gold. gold, yes. Oh, I love that. That's my favorite butter. It's so soft, and you wouldn't think that um, the butter is different, but it's so good. Lisa, and you saw a manatee. No way. Do you still do that, Christy? Do you do carry gold in your coffee too? It's so yummy. Oh my gosh, Lisa. I saw the uh, link that you tagged me in today about the manatees, and you can take a, a canoe trip down and um, like just. I gotta read the article, but the picture looked amazing on the front where it said that you can take the, what do you call it? The canoes down the river. I guess it'll be a river with the manatees. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take you guys with me. Who wants to do a vlog, travel vlog, where we go and we see the manatees? I gotta see the sea cows. Gotta see them. Look how pretty this color is. Chris said, received her happy mail. You did? Oh, Chris tried the milk paint for the first time today, Matt. She said she loved it. It's addicting. It is addicting. A lot of people message me. They're very curious about the milk paint. The brave people try it, right? Yes, a river run. Oh my gosh. There's a swimming one too. Lisa Ann, do they bite? I'm just curious. Do they bite? Matt, you, is, is, should I not Google like before I go down to do this? Where, um... <laughs> This is what you never do, okay? You never Google before you're about to do something like, you know, a man gets tragically eaten by a manatee because you'll probably find something and scare yourself to death, right? No, I'm just asking. I'm asking for a friend, okay? It, well, I don't know. I don't know. I'm sure I'll be fine, but I'm going to do it. I am totally going to do it. No, nothing to bite or eat you. Do they not have teeth? I think they eat grass. Right? Yes, I'm pretty sure. We fed, I fed a before. Did you? Oh, man. All right, so there is my milk paint. It's nice and made right there. You can get a, you know, a handheld blender for yourself. Just keep cleaning it after you use it and then devote it to your paint supplies because that will really spin it out nice and uh, just very just beautiful for you when you use a blender, right? It's like when you make an, um, like a cake batter yourself and sometimes there might be clumps into it so you gotta really beat it or else you use a mixer and then everything spins out nice, right? So number one, if you want the perfection flowy milk paint, um, 
try that. I just use a little um, handheld stir stick here or um, a little, what do you call it? A little beater. You know what I'm talking about. And I'm going to add a little bit more water because I know that this, but now I'm going to do it after I've mixed my equal parts, right? Hey, Beverly. How's the hubby doing, Beverly? Tell us. Hopefully he's feeling better today on the mend. It's not fun being sick. Not at all. So this paint here, I just thinned it down, guys, because, like I said, I, I know that this is hungry, thirsty wood, and Miss Petunia is going to suck right into that, right? So when you're painting, when you're ever painting anything with any paint, your very first coat can suck up more than your second coat because your first coat is going to go all the way into it. So the thinner I make this, honestly, I might just do, I could do that too, just to kind of show you guys is that the thinner I do this, the more of a stain it will become. Ooh, Margaritaville. That sounds good. I could use a boat drink right about now. <laughs> Let's celebrate the Space X launch together and have a cocktail. Did you guys see that today? That was amazing. Ah. Uh. To be that brave. I thought it was so amazing that we um, watched an interview before it happened of a female astronaut and I think it said that she just it's just her thing below her said because I just painted myself her thing below her said um, that she had just returned to earth in April and I, and I just read that I thought myself, just returned to earth in April. I can't imagine what it would be like to go into outer space and then come back to earth. I can't imagine what it would be like to put yourself on a rocket. Oh, I love that. Look at that color. Are you laughing at that? Don't tell me you put yourself on a rocket, Matt, in the Marine Corps or something like that. No, I, I, I <laughs> shot the rocket. So uh, okay. All right. I didn't the rocket. So, I didn't the <laughs> uh, so if you're making wooden signs, I'm going to tell you, Miss Petunia is awesome because the thinner you make her, Look at that beautiful stain that, that you can get, right? So if you really just want it to kind of suck up and then you're putting um, vinyl or you're putting your words onto it or your decorations and you just want your sign to be, you want your stuff to lay nice and flat. Oh yeah, and it is in there. So the thinner you do it, which is what I, I really did, I watered this down a whole lot now, guys. You make more of a stain for yourself. I love that. So if I do a stain, I mean, I don't even have to seal it if I really don't want to because it's gonna be so far into the wood. You like this color? It's called Spearmint. It's a pretty, pretty color. So I thinned it out. This is a piece where I put two full coats onto it, so you can really see it on an old piece of pallet wood here. Really, really bright right there. It's a gorgeous color, gorgeous color. I haven't been out to get any uh, new furniture or anything like that since March, so... I'm starting to see this week now some of the thrift stores starting to open up here where I am in Pennsylvania, up in Erie County. We are not in green phase yet. No. Is it how good? Yeah, I think we're in yellow phase. So, soon. Soon. Oh, that is so pretty. Look at that. Love it. But yeah, I'm claustrophobic. So, I, I could never, ever... The idea of getting in, like I said, a capsule strapped to a rocket and being shot into outer space, that alone would be a nightmare for me to even think about. Oh, and I can't imagine. What do you call it? G-force, Matt? That stuff that presses you in your seat. That yeah. G-force. Can you imagine being, you know, and even like when they were doing the countdown and I think it was Bob and Doug. Is that their names? Yeah, Bob. Bob and Doug. <laughs> oh my gosh. We ship paint. We sure do. We're the home of Junk Monkey Paint at junkmonkeypaint.com. And there is no delay in shipping paint. We were actually shipping paint this morning. We put and it on a rocket. <laughs> we did. We put it on a rocket. And, uh, yeah, everybody who ordered yesterday um, already, your orders are on their way this morning. So that's how fast the monkey is on a rocket these days. So, um, yeah, but Bob and Doug, God love them because I tell you, they are brave individuals. I couldn't imagine being in the rocket and then, you know, you hear all of the, uh, what do you call it? Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of Erie County. Oh, you're so welcome. I would love it if you would. If you go to junkmonkeypaint.com, 
Your order will be shipping out on Monday if you get your order in today. Go for it. Go do it. And then don't blame me for the when you get addicted, okay? Uh, what if your family me sends me a message, which we do get messages from time to time, and they say, help, my, I haven't seen my wife in days. <laughs> uh, too funny. Because she's painting everything in sight or whatever. <laughs> she's found a million projects for me. So yeah. Can you imagine being in a rocket ship? And a rocket ship. I guess that's what it really is. Imagine being in um, being in the front seats, okay? Get a rocket attached to you, and then all of a sudden they launch into the se sequence of you know T minus ten or whatever, and the countdown is on ten, nine, and you're doing something that very few people get to do. Ah, I think my blood pressure. I'm pretty sure they track all that, don't they? Inside at like Mission Control, you know the at least that's what they do on the movies where they, you know, see their heartbeats, you know, what their blood pressure is, all that stuff, right? The oxygen levels, my, I, well, number one, I wouldn't be able to get to that point, but number two, whew, scariest 10 seconds of your life, wouldn't that be? And then you're pinned to your seat. Uh, I think I saw something where they're going to reach and dock. I forget what it's called. They're gonna, they're gonna like dock. I think it's tomorrow morning, is that correct? Lisa, did you get to see that today, by the way? We, we were very, very close to just going, let's go, to, let's go down to a spontaneous drive down to Florida and watch that launch happen. Oh, I know who Bob and Doug McKenzie are. Yes, I do. Matt loves that movie. I'm surprised he's not here in the background. He must have left. Otherwise, he'd be quoting something right now. But did you see it from where you are? Because... I'm pretty sure that a lot of Florida probably saw that today, right? Down by my sisters, really. I just think that's so amazing. I was just, I don't know, just, just so amazing what we can do, isn't it? And it also reminded me that, you know, sometimes you get so focused about what's in front of your face <clears throat> and you forget to look up and you forget to realize that, you know, you might be upset about the smallest thing that happened, but it's a pretty amazing world that we live in, right? There are bigger things at play other than your pay job, right? <laughs> other than something not working out for you or whatever happened. There are just big things going on. It's amazing. I love that. What do you guys think? Matt's not here, so you're going to have to tell me if I missed any spots because there are lots and lots of little, little tiny um, spots to miss on this one. All right, I love that. Oh yeah, I can see some spots I missed. Right there. Don't look at the bottom either. I gotta do that after. So did you guys get to work on any projects today? What'd you guys get into? Any, um, even outdoor work or anything? We took the dogs for a walk a little bit ago. We worked this morning, we took the, we went and got some groceries and then we took the dogs for a walk and then literally on the way back up the driveway, we said, okay, we should go out and work on this side of the driveway. And then we just was like, Ugh, so tired. If you go to our website, we do ship to Canada. We don't have just yet any retailers set up outside of the country, but stay tuned because in the future we will. But right now we have, we're growing our retailers here in the U.S. of A. And then, um, but we do ship as well to Canada. Oh, you got some planting done? Nice. All right, guys, I'm pretty happy with that. I'm going to let that saturate into it. I still got a ton left in my tray. Oh, you're welcome. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to come back and add another light coat on top of here. But this is so sweet. This is perfect. Wouldn't it be cute? Sandy, talk about those herbs and stuff that you're growing to have, get a little crate like this and then to um, like put a couple little planters inside of it or something like that. That would be so nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our next color here. So that was the spearmint. This color is called Blue Frost. You guys named it Blue Frost. We did a vlog on here and you helped me um, pick a name. I'm gonna wash my brush out. These brushes are back on the website. They're my favorite full coverage brush. You cannot beat them, they're awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. All right, let's let that soak for a moment. 
All right, so I told you I put about a, almost a quarter of a cup, but not quite in here. So now what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of water to it, to this, about the same amount to get it started. I got these at Walmart today in the craft section. I thought they were so sweet, just for like to put my stuff around my stash in because I've got a million gazillion things. I, I just used, by the way, in here, this is just a bottle left over from some water I had. So I just fill it with tap water and I keep it sitting out because uh, when I work with my milk paint, what I like to do is have room temperature water. I don't like to get it from the tap. I just like to have it just a nice room temperature. It's like when you put your goldfish to the tank. You know how you gotta let the bag sit inside of the tank a little bit so there's no shock? Well, I don't want my uh, milk paint to go in shock, so I like to ease it on into the day. I would like to get out and do some, some gardening, but I don't know if I'll have time it's starting to get a little bit dark in here right now. I don't even know what time it is. Do you guys live like that where you have no idea what time of the day it is? I don't know what time it is. We never eat at the same time. Growing up, my mother would always have supper ready at 5 o'clock. Like, we grew up when my father was out working, and if she was home and she was making supper, it would always be, yes, exactly, <laughs> don't shock your milk paint. Miss Petunia would be like, what, what, what is that? Cold shower in the morning? No. Gotta ease her into it, right? But yeah, growing up, we would always have, like my mom would have supper on the table at a certain time, right? We had, every time we had lunch, it would be at noon. Always at noon. Um, yeah. Now, here, growing up with my own family, we'll have, like Matt's making supper right now, right? We'll have it probably, I don't know maybe a half an hour to an hour. All right, make sure you stir it well. If you message me and be like, I got clumps, it's because you did not mix it up well. All right, so start with an equal, equal. Your paint is made. Ooh, Valerie, well, what are you thinking towards? What are you leaning towards? And then like this, more water. I'd like to do a nice stain on this one as well, so I'm going to thin it out. Yes, Lisa Ann. So the province I'm from is called Newfoundland and Labrador. So Labrador is the same province, and actually, and it's considered the part of our province that is attached to the rest of Canada. The island portion of the province where I'm from is Newfoundland, but um, Labrador is attached to the mainland of Canada. And actually, before I came down to Pennsylvania, that is where I was living. I was a reporter with the CBC, and they had asked if I would take a position reporting news up in Labrador. So it was pretty, it was pretty interesting to live in, in the um, upper part of the province to move from the island portion. It's pretty amazing. Got to meet um, just, you know, people of the north and got to cover stories way up north. Got to land in a plane on the on the ice on the <laughs> on the Atlantic Ocean ice flows, and um, got to see the sky at night, the aurora borealis, the northern lights. Oh my gosh, that will forever go down as one of the things that. Do you ever have something that you do in your life that you're like that experience was something that I can't believe I saw, and that I will never forget? For me, when I lived in Labrador, the upper part of the province. The, they call it land of the big sky up there. The sky looks so big and blue. And I remember I had to cover a story up in what was called Nain Labrador. It's way up there, way up there. I'm pretty sure like I could probably toss a snowball and hit uh, Santa Claus's house. <laughs> and uh, the only way that you can get up that far north was you had to either go by plane um, or in the summer when the thaw would happen, you could go by boat. And I went up there by plane, and it, it, that was really amazing. In a very small plane where you could literally reach out and touch the two pilots that were piloting the plane. And the plane would land in all the little communities going way, way north and drop off supplies to them. And the locals would come out and get all their food. You know, that was, they'd wait and wait for the plane to come in because that's how they got stopped up. And it was so far north, just to kind of give you an idea, so far north 
that the cars that had been shipped there in the summertime, that they could only use automobiles in the summertime because there would be so much snow. I got picked up on a, uh, I stayed with her while I was like reporting the news. She took me in and she like she would like cook me suppers the um, traditional aboriginal suppers every evening she the first night i was there she made me atlantic salmon or atlantic char with potatoes and this big boil of it she did but yeah she was somewhere around 70 years old and a uh, very nice lady and she took me out on a snowmobile and showed me like just the wild it was amazing it, that was so cool but in the summertime, you can, um, they get their vehicles dropped off and then you can drive around these little communities, but in the winter, because it's so far north and it's so harsh, everything snows over. And to be standing on top of a snow, sorry, to be standing on top of a car where the old cars that still had the antennas coming up, the antennas were sticking up through the snow and you were walking on the top of the cars. And you could tell where there was a car parked because you would see an antenna through the snow, but you were above it. Like, just think about that, right? So yeah, Labrador is the um, the northern part of the province I'm from. It's it's amazing. And it, has anybody ever seen the the Northern Lights? Wow, like the manatees, Lisa. That's one of the things I got to do. Like, I feel like that is something that I have always wanted to see. But yeah, the Northern Lights were amazing too. That that would definitely be like one of the bucket list things. I feel like. You know, those things that you do in life that will ever be just on your heart. That like, like, wow, I actually saw that. Do you guys have something like that that happened to you in life or that you got to witness in life or see in life? And maybe, you, I don't know, you took a cruise or a trip or something. Like, what was the big thing for you? Hey, Lisa. Lisa Ann says, yes, man, we've got all kinds of Lisa's here today. We need to do that. That would be awesome. We're going to do it. We're going to totally do it. And we're going to vlog it all the way. <laughs> I told you, I found a vlog on here of a man who tags manatees and uh, I'm, I'm going to like start, I'm going to hunt him down. He doesn't know it yet, but I'm going to be his friend and be like, dude, you need to take me with you in your canoe and we need to do these things. All right. So you keep looking if you find out who this man is. <laughs> uh, Jackie, you've seen them. They're beautiful. Big beast of the ocean, right? But they're docile. So at least that's what I'm told. All right, so this color here is called, we mixed it up, friends. We stirred it up so good. I paint my arm. And this color is called Blue Frost. Oh, yeah. A lot of you guys were like, we want you to bring back a retired color we had on the clay and mineral type side paint. It was called Ice Ice Baby. And yes, every time I say it, we have to sing it. Ice Ice Baby. Well, we retired that color, and you guys have been telling us to bring it back. So hopefully this will fill your, your need, okay? Fill your bucket for right now until we eventually bring it back again on the other side of the paint line. But this is like that ice ice baby. Oh, wow. We're going to do it. Oh, somebody just wrote they saw the Great Barrier Reef. I, uh, you know what, my comment just kind of went out, right? It's Australia. Is it Australia? Wow. So you would have to, I'm guessing, did you have to do scuba diving for that? That would be amazing. Matt, you did a lot of scuba diving, right? When yeah. you were, yeah. I want to do, I want to do that too. I really want to do that. You can't do it no more? No. Is that because of your, you came up too quickly, right? Yep, can't even fly. Well, we don't want Matt to explode underwater. Yeah, Matt, when he was in the Marine Corps, he told me one time that he had a situation, a recovery situation. And uh, he, they were involved in the wreckage of a plane underwater and he got spooked and came up too quick, right? And then, Big deal. Big deal. <laughs> and he got spooked underwater and thought he was going to be eaten. <laughs> well, it was right in my face. And <laughs> he came up too quickly. We laugh now, but wasn't laugh fun then, I'm sure, right? No, I was bleeding out of every orifice in my head. Yeah, not good. Well, you be on the sand and just cheer me on, okay? <laughs> 
You just look for fins, okay? Uh -huh. And keep me safe. I'll be having some great fun. <laughs> I'll be like, Matt, you're not supposed to be drinking cocktails, okay? Over at Margaritaville. You're supposed to be making sure there's no fins out here. Oh my gosh, I would die if I seen a shark. <laughs> uh, growing up, I seen a lot of, you know, what we call killer whales and um, big, 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 big sea life. And it is, if you're ever out in the boat and there's a big, big whale around you, it is pretty freaky because they are, there's some very big, big sea things, things that live in the sea. And it's very scary because you feel like they are so, wow, when they're around you. So I can't imagine what it would be like being under water. I, I don't know what I do. I just freak out. If I'm missing any of your questions, you'll have to throw them up again. Because Matt's cooking corn. And I'm cooking on my project, so I may have missed some uh, questions. Now you're doing burgers? Yeah. See, he says she'd like to um, swim with the pigs. That's down in the Bahamas somewhere, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Wild pigs. Who even thought that pigs swim? Really? You you think of like pigs in a barnyard and you think of pigs in mud, but the whole idea of pigs swimming? Is that just Bahama pigs? Yeah. They strap on their trunks and they live in the life. Watermelon lemonade with watermelon lum yum rum. <laughs> lum yum rum. I know, right? It's a swimming pig. Seriously, that's what happens. See, you go to the Bahamas before you know it. You get into the sea life. You become a swimming pig. Oh, I love that. That's perfect. Now get your drips, right? Because gravity happens. So don't put too much paint on. Go light coats. Build up for a more professional finish. You could always go ahead. If you're asking me, Sandy, what colors we have in our milk paint, we have 30 colors in total that we are always managing and uh, bringing, that can go in and out of stock at any given time, right? So the 30 colors that we have, if you go to junkmonkeypaint.com and you click the milk paint section, you'll see them all listed right there. Are they really? Pigs are smarter than dogs? Yeah. What? never knew that well now I know if I'm ever on a game of trivia and they say well, who's smarter a dog or a pig I always dogs might have, dogs might argue that one. the dogs might argue yeah I never knew that although a lot of people have pigs for pets right I once did a set of cabinets for um, a client who had a pig for a pet that was the I was amazed I mean I couldn't get any painting done because I was so occupied with the pig never knew that Interesting. Oh, that turned out so pretty. All right, so I can let this dry and then I can turn it over and get my bottom down there. But I don't want to paint the bottom because everything will stick to the newspaper that I got going on here. So we'll do that after. So I think what I'm gonna do is let this dry, flip these over, do the bottom, and I'll do another light coat over the top with just kind of like the wash that I have. You can always add a little bit more water as well. Sometimes when you do your last coat and you add a little bit more water to it, it can really give you a really nice um, professional finish as well. Just, just another tip that you can do when you add on some, a little bit of water to your paint for like a wash finish over the top of it. So pretty, so pretty. And by the way, speaking of anything to do with washes and um, techniques, the uh, antiquing glaze, the brown, the black, and the white should be here. Yay! Possibly Monday or Tuesday. And then we'll start shipping that out to you guys. So, you guys will be having fun with that. And we'll do a bunch of glazing projects next week, I think. You love the both of them. Aw, nice. I love it. So, yeah, when you got something like this, just to put a few things inside of it, I think it's fun. Even if you have, like, I have jars and stuff like that with my uh, paintbrushes. But it's fun because you'll layer a piece and now it looks a little more interesting, but it also feels like it has a place, right? When you put stuff together. 
Ain't that sweet? Just like that, right? Hey, Jennifer. Nice. I got a bunch of these little brushes that I got on sale when at Hobby Lobby a while back. If you guys ever go to Hobby Lobby, um, <laughs> if you guys ever go to Hobby Lobby, I say that like you never ever go, right? And you're like, I live there. But um, hey, Lisa's husband's on. He says Santa's in the house. Okay. He wants to know if you've been a good boy. Uh, but if you ever go to Hobby Lobby, if you uh, go into the clearance section, I find that's a great place if you're ever looking for like little brushes and stuff like that. And especially right now, I did hear that as they start to open back up, that a lot of the older stock that they haven't been able to sell and they have more stuff coming in, that there's a lot of discounts going on right now. So I know they're not open tomorrow. I was this close to going to Hobby Lobby tonight, but we just ran out of time today. And for me, it takes me about, honestly, it's almost a two hour drive. To go to Erie is, it's, get, can get like close to an hour. So 45 minutes to an hour out, 45 minutes to an hour back. So tonight we couldn't make it, but this week I wanna go. Maybe I'll do a live or a vlog while I'm there and just kinda show you what I see as well. Um, oh, really? Never heard of it. Yeah, you never heard of it, right? <gasps> really, Christy says there's so many clearance stickers. Hello, call my name. Say my name, say my name. Oh, yes. All right. Well, my friends, we're just going to let that dry right there. And, yeah, when you come back on again, I see you again. I'll show you them finished. But I'm just going to let that dry, flip them over, use the rest that's in here. I can add a little bit of water, do a nice final coat all over them, and just let everything suck in. Totally up to me if I want to seal them. I really don't have to. Honestly, this paint went so far into the wood pores and uh, I might even distress a little bit around the corners and stuff. So I think we're good. Uh, we're hoping to come down to Florida very soon. I was saying earlier that we were this close to even coming down and just doing a spontaneous trip down um, to see the launch today. So that, that is something that's on our bucket list to see one of these days. But today was a pretty special one. It was awesome to see. And if you haven't seen it, go look it up and go watch it. All right, so what? Elon Musk. Matt says, go Elon Musk. <laughs> All right, so I am going to go Matt Miller. He's making a supper. I'm going to go see what Matt's got going on for a supper. I know it's going to be good. I will see you guys again probably again tomorrow here live. Thanks for hanging out with me. And, yes, you can get your milk paint. So these are the last final two colors that we did in the milk paint. If you go over to junkmonkeypaint.com, and right now we are caught up. Like, right now, on top of our orders, we have been busy monkeys all week. So when you place an order now... Boom, it's gonna go out on Monday for you. So get it in now if you wanna get it out quick. All right, see you, Linda. Oh, thank you for the love. And as always, I would love it if you enjoyed this video, if you love hanging out with me, do this for any creator that you um, hang out with, spend time with. One of the most awesome things that you could do for them is to leave a comment, is to leave a heart, is to share their video. It doesn't cost a cent, but what it does is it supports your creator, me in this case. And if you love these videos, it lets me know that, hey, I want to see more. You're welcome. Enjoy your day tomorrow too. All right. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Take care. Eat something good for supper. See ya.